has really been so long since I've seen you. Like, whole life changed. I'm living in a whole new apartment. Like, let me not give y'all a sneak peek though because we can do that in another video. But today is the first week I'm going to be working in the station. Hear me out now. In the station in over a year. Last year when the pandemic first hit, there was like a mandate where all reporters had to start working from home and we were doing remote reporting. So if you watched my last, one of the last reporter videos that I did with the day in the life, I was working from home. So now, you don't see no equipment. You don't see no camera gear on my floor. Also, we have a new addition to the family where I don't actually know where she's hiding, but she's somewhere. So there's a whole lot that I gotta update y'all on, but for today, we're gonna be focusing on working from the station. So, um, being that I'm working from the station now, myself one of these calendars where I'm able to get all my stories set up for the week and then start anew the next week and if you're a reporter or if you're working in any job that has a deadline where you need to do something new every single day I used to thought think my teachers was a little bit crazy for having these calendars it has changed my life when it's come to setting up stories in advance and not day up and so for today we're gonna be doing a story with a local hospital and a nursing home. They're having like a, a program there that's helping CNAs within the nursing home. And so we're gonna be doing that as our package. And then for our both side, we got a couple mobile vaccination sites here in Adams County. Um, one is gonna be at our YMCA. And so one of the big pushes lately has been to get youth vaccinated. And so I'm gonna do that as an, a VOSAT. I'm excited to be working back in the station. It's my home wow. skillet. <laughs> Meteorologist Logan. So when I first started working here last year, I worked in the station for three weeks for training. Pandemic hits, and from then on until now, I worked from home. So it's just a little bit insane to be sitting back at my desk with my little decorations and whatnot. Like, it just feels so good to be back. This is our equipment room. And so it has all of our camera equipment, mask, schedules, cars, all that good stuff. I'm just playing. One thing I get asked a lot with being a multimedia journalist is, oh, where's your where's your photographer? Where's your photographer? You're looking at her. Like literally, like I am my photographer. I go and get my stories. And that's what's the difference between a multimedia journalist and a reporter. With being a MMJ, multimedia journalist, like I'm in charge of getting my story, pitching the story, finding the story, writing the story, interviewing for the story, getting the video, putting it online, like you do everything. Whereas in other stations, being a reporter, you still ask the questions, you still show up and do your stuff, but there's a photographer that's with you. But honestly, like I like writing my stories. I like getting my interviews. I like shooting my videos. So being a multimedia journalist, it's, it's up my alley, but just to think, if I could have somebody come with me on my interviews, get all the video, edit it. But then I feel like that just takes away the creative vibe, you feel me? So, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, back in the station. Now it's my job to put the story together. Nuisance 5, when you have a loved one getting care in a nursing home or hospital, you want them to receive the best care possible, but local health care providers say that's not possible without enough staff. 
WDEM's Charity Bell is live to tell us their initiative to bring more CNAs to our region. And so I've already written my story, it's gotten approved, now I just have to read through it. I don't know how the lighting is in here, might be a little wackety whack, but bear with me. Blessing Hospital partners with long-term care facilities like Sunset Home to offer their CNA training program. CNA Don Hewlett has gone through the program and passed the state certification exam. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> We're last shot ready. Last shot Thursday. It's my birth week. Quarter life crisis. Here we go. Coming. <laughs> it's coming up. When's, when's your birthday? You got it. You got to think about it? You got to think about we it? You got six days. Okay. Happy birthday. No problem. I want to be on your party bus. It's a limo. Cheers. But you didn't invite me, so... It doesn't Whoa. work like that. <laughs> Whoa, yikes. Real talk, today has been insane. And you know what? I did it to myself. I did it to myself. My heart, let's look at my heart right. 11 minutes ago, it was 99 beats per minute. I think that's what the BPM stands for. But I'm wore out. So let me backtrack a little bit. So the way I usually set up my day, because the news is deadline driven it's not like oh well i was working on my five and six o'clock well i didn't have enough time to do this so you're not gonna have anything for the five o'clock show it don't work like that you gotta do what you gotta do to get your stuff online like as in like ready to air and so the way i set my day up is anywhere between 10 and 12 is where i'm trying to set up my interview anything after 12 really just messes me up whatever i'm working on today is going to air today and so I need enough time to get my stuff in so I had my scripts done by like two something went to go ahead and start editing but somebody had their stuff going on in the editing bay and I couldn't get what I needed to do done so I had to just rush 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 3 30 come I gotta go get another story and like my head is just blowing off its gasket I hope this makes sense but what I'm really trying to say is I'm woa and I'm tired and there's one I got one more live shot to go and you know what you do when you tired you work hard like Nike say you just do it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do it me and Shaq are gonna kill this live shot and I'm gonna relax I'm gonna eat me a fat bowl of ice cream when I get off because I feel like I deserve it today I worked hard I'm so tired y'all here at Sunset Home in Quincy, administrators say they're trying to do something about the nationwide shortage of certified nurse assistants. They say CNAs are the ones who bathe, feed, and take care of residents, and they say they are an integral part of your loved one's day-to-day -day in facilities like this one. And that is what we call a wrap, folks. That's a wrap. <laughs> Another one. Another one. That's a major key. You, you know the reference? DJ Khaled. <laughs> we the best. <laughs> okay, so at the end of the day, the very last thing that I have to do is put my stuff online. And so it's just you take the... How do I say it? So you take... Well, I'm going to say so you. So I take my scripts and then you just change it over to AP format as best as you can as best as I can and so that's the absolute last thing that I do before I go home and then someone has to go through and then recheck it just to make sure it's how it's supposed to be and then sometimes at the end of the at the end of the day depending on how good I feel about my story I'll go back and watch my story and see if there's anything that I could do better on. Hello, honey. Hello. Gonna make your little cameo? Y'all don't judge my shoes. You wanna be picked up? You wanna be picked up? You gonna say hi? No? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, she's such a good cat. Like, I purposely leave the door open sometimes just to see if she would run away. But she don't. I don't do it because I want her to run away. I just do it just to see if she would, if she could. 
But she don't because she love her mama, right? So if you've made it to the end of the vlog, what, what are they supposed to do? Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have made it to the end of this vlog and have liked what you've seen, have enjoyed what you've seen, like, comment, and subscribe. I really like doing these vlogs, although I haven't done this in a while. I'm thinking that we're going to do a little life update. Oh, so you can meet Eleanor and just go through the whole process of me getting her. She's my first pet ever. I had a pet turtle, but that don't count. She's my first like pet pet. And then also just a little life update because I'm living in a new apartment. Like there's just so much stuff that I haven't updated y'all on and it's about that time, right? It, and it's about that time, Ellie. Tell them it's about that time. Chit, 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 chat, satirity.